both, I think both times, I think both animals gave me something. Now I'm the wolf daddy. So, no wolf scares me. <laughs> yeah. They are not dogs, they're wild animals, and even though they're in a captive situation, we haven't taken the wild out. And so it's all, we always have danger. Uh, but we have high, we have you know strict protocol, and it really saves people from getting hurt. And I prefer that it's me, not someone else. If someone's going to get hurt, I'll, I'll let me do it because I, I don't want some volunteer from Sweden or you know England or somewhere getting torn up when I could have just down there and taken care of it myself. Yeah, Nikki had me for lunch um, in August of I think 2007, <laughs> and just uh, we played that morning. Everything was dandy, and he chose to really do serious damage. And the very first thing he did was he grabbed my hand, and he grabbed my hand with such force, I ah! knew I was in trouble. And, uh, and then he came around and he sliced me open right here. Whoosh, just sliced ah! right through my pants, just put a nice big six inch uh, incision there, clear down the tendon. And, uh, and then as I tried to get away from him, I thought, well, I'll instigate some play. We were playing this morning, I'll do some play bow. And he's like, whatever, <laughs> I don't care about play. So as I was running around the house trying to get him to, to instigate some Come play, on. he wasn't going to have it. I jumped on top of the house. It was too fragile to carry my weight. It collapsed. And as I scrambled off, I was sort of like, like on this bench. I was sitting on the very edge. And you know if you're sitting on the very edge of something, you can't, you can't stay. So I'm holding on. And he's just ah. eating this leg. Ah. Just chewing ah. it up back and forth. Put ah. probably 20 holes in it and took chunks of flesh off. He ate a few times on this leg, and I'm screaming, you know, get the heck off of me. I'm also waiting for people to open the gate, because the gate's hard to open, and I wanted to get ready to run. And I ran out of that enclosure like a bullet. And the girls later said, well, gosh, you ran so fast, we thought nothing was wrong with you. I was running for my life. <laughs> you, that's what happens when you run for your life. Nothing else matters, but when I got out, there was, I'd never seen this except in the movies. There was blood just squirting out of my leg like this. Whoosh, whoosh. So I sat down and I stuck my right thumb in it, wishing I had stuck my left thumb in it. And, uh, and then Angel yells at me, you're gushing over here. You're gushing over here too. What do you want me to do? What do I do? I said, just jam your hand in it. So she's just jam your hand okay. in it. Ah. She jammed her hand into this spot there. And uh, then I picked up a radio and called for help. And my girls came and picked me up, they doctored me up real quick, picked me up, put me in a car and drove me to Zuni Hospital. And I told Angel, I said, I said, do these two things. Call, Call Zuni, Zuni Hospital, hospital say these words. tell them the wolf man's man on the way, they'll know exactly what to way. do. Don't say anything else, they'll know exactly what's going on. They were waiting with a wheelchair when I got there. And I said, then call my wife and tell her I'm okay, but bring a camera. And then call my wife, tell her to bring a camera. Because no one's touching me until the camera takes pictures of this. Because I and the doctors were pissed off at me because they they wanted to get to work. I said no, no, not until the camera arrives. Because this is testimonial. I gotta show my volunteers what happens when you screw up. And uh, so that's that's what we did. We waited. My wife showed up, took lots of pictures, and I said, okay, sew me up. So that's how that went. Well, you know, I have fear. I have respect for them, but I'm also fearlessly respectful. I mean, I know the fear part is I know the damage that can happen. But I also know that the fear of being bit is more powerful than actually the bite itself in my psyche. Because I'm more afraid of the, the moment than after the moment's happened. So yeah, I have deep respect for them. I honor and, re and, and fear them, but I am not gonna back down in a situation where I can't. I mean, uh, when I go to rescue a crazy animal on a chain that's vicious, it, that's a whole, I'm not gonna just walk up and be tough guy. <laughs> that's just stupid. <laughs> But I'm going to do what I can to communicate with him and, uh, and keep my hands off of him if necessary. And that's why we have great capture equipment. That's why we have nets and blowguns and all those other things, just so we're not getting hurt. In it.